A little bit hot in here. <laughs> What's up everyone? My name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the third episode already of Breaking 10,000 Barriers. This episode is obviously for the month of March 2022. If you guys are new and you want to catch up on the series and see my progress from January, I will put a little card up in this corner for the playlist for Breaking 10,000 Barriers. In the first episode of January, it explains everything about the series, what it is, what I'm gonna include in it, things like that. So if you guys wanna hear about the series and what it is, then go to that playlist and watch the first video there. Um, I'm not gonna explain it every single video because that would just take too much time and I just kinda wanna jump into it, so. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with the first category, which is arm movement. So the first exercise is flexing and extending my wrist. Oh, I think I'm wearing the same shorts that I'm wearing in that foot first footage. So the March 1st footage, pretty much the same as it has been, obviously assisting with my able hand to move my wrist through the movements. I will say though, since I just filmed the March 29th footage, I felt like I was engaging my own muscles in my left hand to do that movement a lot more. It was a lot more fluid and it just kind of felt like it was less stiff to move it through that movement. So I would say that's a little bit of an improvement. I don't know. Little things are good too, so we'll go with it. Then the second exercise is the supination and pronation of my wrist. So, oh, I'm gonna have to zoom in because the footage is kind of far away actually. <laughs> oh God, I looked really rough that day. Honestly, the footage on March 1st, it looks like it was easier to move it through the movement, like than it had been to move it through that movement. Then March 29th, um, was really good as well. And I noticed after I did this exercise that my hand was really loose and it just kind of like fell out of its tone. I in included a little clip at the end there. Um, but yeah, my wrist was really like, what is it called? My wrist was really um, relaxed. <laughs> God, that took forever to think of that word. Um, and then third and last exercise of the arm movement category is um, opening and closing my hand. So in the footage on March 1st, my hand was kind of stiff that day. So um, instead of having to fully close my hand all independently, like I usually do when I'm holding my thumb out of the tone, I just kind of like rocked my wrist back and forth because when I do that, my fingers, any fingers naturally open and close when you're um, flexing your wrist like that. So I was just kind of taking it through the movement and like thinking about engaging those muscles. I actually noticed something different from the footage on March 29th. I um, was holding my thumb out of tone again so that it wasn't affecting my ability to move my other four fingers. But I noticed when I was thinking about closing my hand, it was closing like very naturally, like my thumb was even coming with it too. And you can see that in the footage. But yeah, that was something new. So that's another um, improvement already. I'm like so stoked that I'm seeing improvements with every episode pretty much so far. And we're only on the third episode. That's crazy. <laughs> um, all right, let's move on to the second category, arm movement. So first exercise, raising my arm straight above my head. You'll notice in both of the footages, I'm sitting on the ground in front of my couch and I'm kind of leaning back on the like seated portion of the couch a little bit. I find that it's a lot easier for me to lift my affected arm when I'm kind of leaning back a little bit. Doing that just kind of takes away uh, the difficulty of it a lot more. So I want to be able to have fluid movement. So it's nice to be able to do that easily 
or easier than usual um, by leaning back. So that's what I have been doing. This time around, I forget if the last footage from February, if I was doing this without pulling it up with my right arm, but um, if you know before I was pulling my arm up like this with my right arm to get that movement, um, but because I am leaning back now onto the couch a little bit, I'm able to do it unassisted for the most part. And if you watch closely in the first footage, um, when I bring it up to the top, I even make sure that I'm straightening out my elbow to make the arm straight if it kind of bent in the process of bringing it upwards. Um, the footage from the 29th, pretty much the same. Um, maybe a little more careless because uh, my elbow isn't completely straight every single rep it looks like. Ow, my freaking foot is falling asleep. <sighs> Next exercise, pushing my arm behind me. I don't, I can't really tell the difference, honestly. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't tell because I'm wearing a black shirt. I shouldn't be wearing black shirts when I'm doing these videos, but. Um, I feel like it looks like my shoulder and my elbow are being brought backwards a lot more than they usually are. So it looks better to me. Last exercise in the arm category. What is it? Like flexing and extending my bicep. If that's correct, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, yeah, so for this one, in the footage on the first, um, I usually take my thumb and I put it over top of my index finger, like on the side there, so that it doesn't like, cause sometimes my thumbnail will like get jammed in one of my fingers or like my, the palm of my hand and it hurts. So I noticed in the footage on the first, it was normal the way it is, like my fingers kind of extend and my thumb stays stuck on the side of my index finger. But then on the footage on the 29th, you can see it kind of moved its way out of that position because of how relaxed my hand was after doing the supination and pronation exercise. And my hand was really relaxed after that. So that was pretty cool. Um, okay. Third category, foot movement. So first up we have my, God, what is that called? Dorsiflexion. <laughs> Almost didn't remember that name. So the footage on the first doesn't look like anything too special. Again, this exercise, like I explained last week, it's the furthest body part away from the brain, so it's harder to get those connections all the way down there. On the footage on the first, it doesn't look like much of a change from the past two months. But then, on the footage on the 29th, it's hard to tell, honestly. There isn't really too much of a difference, but maybe it looks like it's going a little higher. I don't know. I might be just like hoping that it is. <laughs> then the next exercise, wiggling my toes, obviously, Footage on the first, nothing different. I'm still using my right hand to move my toes through the movement. Um, and the same thing with the footage on the 29th. That one is even further than my ankle, so that one is probably going to take a very long time to get any progress on. Um, so that's okay. It's just what it is. And then last exercise in the foot category pointing my toes or like pointing my foot. So I don't know if you guys notice in this exercise, I kind of grab my knee and I pull it over so that my leg doesn't like by default, just like flop outwards. Um, Cause then like my foot would be pointing like to the side, like oh, it's kind of hard to show like this instead of this and I want it to mimic my right foot. I could do it to the side with my right foot too, just to make it the same, but I wanna be able to see the progress from the angle that my camera is, I guess. So um, having it straight and pulling my knee over so it doesn't flop open is how I've been doing it. Seems to be the best way to go about that. Um, but anyway, the footage on the first looks pretty much the same as the past two months, not gonna lie. 
um, then the footage on the 29th. I actually started doing something a little bit different. Every time I've been doing it also with my right foot so I can kind of compare and also just like remind myself of what that movement feels like with my right foot. But this time on the footage on the 29th, I also bent my knees upward so that um, it was more of like a pushing motion to get my toes downward. And I feel like it looks like it might be going a bit better. It's again, it's one of those things that's gonna take a really long time to improve on, but I feel like it might be a little bit better because I'm doing that knee bending thing. The last category, leg movement. First exercise, bending my knee to kick my butt with my foot. I gotta come up with better names for these exercises. <laughs> I don't really know what that one would be called, but anyway, the footage on the first. Honestly, it looks like I was better at doing it on the 1st than I was on the 29th, which is kind of funny. I think I was just being lazy on the 29th. I wasn't feeling doing that exercise that day, I guess. Um, second exercise is the fire hydrants with my affected leg. I had been doing the fire hydrants with a bent leg. Eventually, while doing these exercises throughout the month, I ended up improving by being able to keep my leg a bit more straight. It is still a little bit bent in the footage on the 29th, but I'm working my way toward being able to do it completely straight and just honestly just working that hip to get it nice and high and flexible. The last exercise that I kind of added last month, working on my balance. So it looks like on the first of the month, I was able to do nine seconds balancing on my left leg. <laughs> I was excited that I was done my exercises, I think, at the end there, and probably just proud of the nine seconds, honestly. And then, oh, and then, so I started doing this thing to kind of help my foot stay spread out and cover as much surface area as possible with my foot. Um, on the floor because if you know anything about paralysis, especially in feet and legs, you get something called, I think it's called like hammer toes or something. I'll insert maybe a picture or something from Google. I don't know. But I think that's what my PT used to call it, hammer toes. When your toes like scrunch up and essentially you're like standing on your toes. That happens to me all the time. It's very painful. But to stretch that out and get my toes flat on the floor instead of all scrunched up so that I can have the best balance as possible. I do like a forward lunge um, to bend my toes and then when I put my heel back down on the ground my toes stay flat. Um, so that's what I started doing to kind of help my balance and it looks like I balanced on my left foot for about 8.4 seconds. I get these times by looking at the clips that I take I guess that's not really an improvement, but um, I did my best. <laughs> like I said, sometimes you have better days than others. Doesn't necessarily mean you're regressing in your progress. Um, but yeah, um, always moving forward if I'm still doing exercises. So that's a plus and plotting myself always for sticking to it and doing my best. I'll be honest, this month was really hard to get a lot of my exercises in, but I did do, obviously, exercises the majority of the days of the month. My sister got engaged, so I ended up having to go to Florida to celebrate for that. Um, and honestly, I was kind of very lazy with my exercises, especially there. I don't think I did them. I maybe did them one night, I think, while I was there. Um, but it's kind of hard when you're visiting family and um, distracted. You don't really think about doing it or want to do it when you're going to bed at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, um, that was another episode of Breaking 10,000 Barriers. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through me <laughs> and sticking through this journey with me. Um, honestly, I've noticed a lot this month that it's you guys that are keeping me going with your support and honestly just having like, not the obligation, but like, 
I guess the obligation, I guess that's the right word. Like the obligation for having to post these videos every month. It's motivating to have to do these exercises so that I can show some kind of improvement. So I really owe it to you guys for kind of forcing me to do this really hard journey because I don't know if I would stick with it if I was just doing it by myself. So thank you guys so much again for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all my socials linked in the description down below. And I will see you next week for another new video. Okay, bye. <laughs>